How you doing? Chris Logan, Creative Flavors Catering, cooking down here at Catalina Offshore Products. I've got uh, some beautiful uh, Vaquetta sea bass, a white sea bass, that I'm going to saute. We're going to finish it up with a little bit of uh, shaved garlic, some sweet bell peppers, uh, some shredded basil, maybe a little scallion, and then I'm making lemon vinaigrette that I'm going to uh, sauce it off with. Anyhow, I always start off by seasoning my fish. I use uh, fresh ground uh, Hawaiian sea salt, cracked black pepper, Always make sure that my pan is hot, and then I saute with a little bit of a uh, combination of canola oil, grapeseed oil, and a uh, olive oil. The reason for that is uh, basically when you sear stuff, you want to maintain the moisture of the fish, the contents of the fish inside. Hot pan, you use a great quality olive oil, it has a tendency to smoke and burn. So a combination of those kind of work for me pretty well. Put them into my saute pan. Again, the idea is just to uh, sear the fish. Basically all this is, uh, it fillets, very thinly sliced, so all I'm doing is searing them on one side, giving them a twist, giving them a twist, giving them a turn over, I'm going to let them uh, sear on the other side, I'm going to remove them, and then I'm going to finish my garnish. back into the hot pan. You have to be careful with uh, shaped garlic and uh, the hot saute pan. Basically what is happening is that you want to bring out, you want the caramelization to happen, but you don't want it to burn. This is a little uh, lemon vinaigrette. It's, uh, lemon zest, lemon juice, a little bit of uh, sea salt, a touch of sugar to bring those flavors together, and uh, salt. Finish it with a grapeseed oil. I'm gonna put that on top of the uh, sea bass. All these uh, simple flavors really uh, come together. Sea bass. Christopher Logan, Creative Flavors Catering, down here at Catalina Offshore Products, having a great time. Thank you much.